What's good YouTube, easy now, 1337 aka Snow here today with a quick small little commentary about uh, Battlefield 4. Now before people start shouting fanboy and stuff, let me tell you what a fanboy is. Fanboy is not an offensive word, it's what children use to try and upset people. And I do it as well because it's just the mentality of people nowadays in the gaming scene and you get sucked into it. But fanboy is basically a word to describe somebody who likes something, who enjoys something and they want to support it. That's like waking up in the morning and you've got cereal and bananas in front of you and you choose to have bananas does that make you a banana fanboy you know what i mean that's the stupidity of the word so before everyone starts kicking off about fanboy please just think first before you do um i'm not a card fanboy i've played every single call of duty i played every single battlefield 4 i've played so many games in my entire life that are fps's i know what's good for a game now because i know what's good for a game doesn't mean that it's truth for everyone it comes down to personal opinion and what people think and what they want from a game i can't dictate what people play or think about a game but i do have the right to my opinion i do have the right to portray my opinion and hopefully people who are sitting on the fence about a certain thing might learn something from me giving that opinion and let's get into it anyway battlefield 4 the video i made the other day was just ridiculous like it was a valid reasonable commentary but because of the title people start kicking off and just being immature because they were too stupid to sit and listen to the commentary so hopefully people listen to this commentary first because it's going to be a fair one and it's going to have a fair title gameplay in the background i believe will be the 23 to 1 sniping gameplay that i got but let's get into it so battlefield has never been something that i have absolutely loved to play and went out of my way to buy i will just buy it randomly like i bought battlefield 3 for about two weeks towards the end of the um, towards the end of the year, it was out, and I played it a lot. Like when I get a game and I pay money for it, I play the shit out of it, so I know, I know I've got my money's worth, even if I don't like it. And the Battlefield 4 beta for me, I played the shit out of it, and I was like, I can't get this game; it's going to be horrible. But then I was offered the chance to get it a couple of days early. So I thought, why not? I might as well spend a little bit of extra money, get this game a couple of days early, play it for a week or so, and then get Call of Duty Ghosts. And I knew I wouldn't enjoy it, but I actually surprised myself and shot myself because I am really enjoying playing the game. But only the modes, which are short engagement, close quarters, like Team Deathmatch and Domination. But there's loads of problems with the game at the moment, and to be honest, it's really shit of the company to... to release a game, an alpha version of the game, which is worse than the beta. The game crashes all the goddamn time. I've crashed at least 25 times in one day. And the menus are always glitched and such things. I've actually lost progressions on my weapons. I had my hand grenades all the way up to the very top. I don't like everything. And then suddenly I'm back to just having a frag grenade and have to start again. And it's happened to some of my guns as well. Now people say, oh, it's just been released. It, this shouldn't happen. But if they're having a beta for this game, the beta should be testing these things like crashes and such things and then be able to fix them on release date and then people are coming to me and telling me oh yeah but it's meant for the next gen well it probably is but here's the thing if you're going to release it on current gen and grab people's money you should provide them with a quality product so that 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 sort of side that sort of side of it aside well wow, that was hard to say um the actual game and playing it, I actually do get a lot of enjoyment from it. And the realism, and I say that in quotation marks because that's what all Battlefield people bring up, the realism of it. It's enjoyable. The graphics, the destruction is enjoyable, but that doesn't make a game. That's aesthetic things, you know what I mean? That's pleasing on the eye, but that doesn't make a game enjoyable and makes you want to play it all the time and get you addicted to it. So what does? Actual gameplay, achievement in the game how it feels to kill people and such things now in battlefield there's no nothing you're working towards there's no kill streaks nothing like that anybody in the world no matter what skill level can get a helicopter a jet or a boat or a car or anything of that nature so to me the whole someone being better than the other person is taken out of it when it comes to the modes with t with vehicles because some random noob could get in a tank and go on like a 20 kill streak because he's just sitting in a corner in a tank so the whole skill based game is taken out of it by the fact that anybody can get these sorts of things 
in Call of Duty, when someone gets a VSAT, you know they've earned that VSAT because they have a certain amount of skill. Even people who camp in corners get caught out. They, they'll get like one VSAT every two hours. Someone like the Hovis man who plays Call of Duty gets a VSAT, probably more than one, every single game he plays because he's so good at the game. And that's where it comes apart for me with Call of Duty. Call of Duty doesn't... I wouldn't say it requires more skill to shoot the gun because obviously the bullet drop and realism of the gun in Battlefield 4 makes it harder to shoot but the, it takes more skill to be able to achieve the things you can achieve in Call of Duty like Moabs, like Nuclears than getting a, a 5 kill streak on Battlefield 4 which is usually is probably like the most you'll get before someone catches you out and kills you so I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't say one takes more skill than the other but for the achievement that Call of Duty gives you it definitely takes more skill to get those achievements than it would to just play a normal game on Battlefield 4 because you're not aiming to do anything in Battlefield 4 other than win the game. So, I don't know, for me that's where I enjoy COD more because there's a sense of achievement there every single game you play. The achievement that comes into Battlefield 4 is leveling up your guns and leveling up your character because you have to use the classes to unlock the next weapon in that class and I hated that system and I still kind of dislike it but I am enjoying it more on Battlefield 4 because it seems a lot faster to rank up those guns than it has in any other Battlefield to me personally it just feels like it's faster so I don't know Battlefield 4 is a def definitely worth buying if you have the spare money to buy it if you only have money to buy one game I would wait for Call of Duty Ghosts if especially if you're a Call of Duty player I wouldn't if you're thinking of switching to Battlefield 4 because you don't like Black Ops 2 and then you, you think Call of Duty is going downhill do not do it just keep your money and wait for Call of Duty Ghosts because I guarantee you and I promise you that Call of Duty Ghosts will be the best Call of Duty in history I guarantee it it's just solely because of the dedicated servers and the connection will be better um, Battlefield 4 though, very very good game, enjoying it, I don't see myself playing it all year, I'm definitely going to keep it for a while instead of trading it in for Call of Duty Ghosts in a couple of days, so yeah, that's my honest opinion on it, overall I'd give Battlefield 4, from a Battlefield skeptic like me, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10, that's a very 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 good score, considering I would give Black Ops 2 7 out of 10. So you know, you see what I'm saying, like for someone who is apparently this COD fanboy giving ba a game, Battlefield 4, that he hates, Battlefield series that he hates, a higher score than Call of Duty, shows how much of a vast improvement they've made on the Battlefield series. However, I wouldn't go out and buy it if you can only afford the one game, or if you're on the fence, I would wait for Call of Duty Ghosts. So that's me done for today anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, that's my honest opinion and that's all it is, is an opinion, so before you start crying and shouting and all that, even though you're still going to do it, even if I tell you at the start of the video, even if I slap you in the face with please don't judge my opinion, but you know, that's me done for today anyway, peace out, take care. Spotted a hostile soldier. Enemy soldier spotted. I got eyes on an enemy soldier. Spotted a hostile soldier.
spotted an enemy soldier. Hostile soldier spotted. I spotted an enemy sniper. I got eyes on an enemy soldier. I spotted a sniper.